Hello, it's Phoebe here, and welcome to my Mixed Up Mind. Um, today is a little different from my other videos, because it's actually not about Tourette's or my chronic illness. Salem! Sorry for the noise on the background, my kitty is... Oh, hello! Yeah. <laughs> but today I'm actually doing an author tour, because... Little do you know that I do practice witchcraft. I'm not like a Wiccan or anything. I practice like more pagan, like a Christian witch actually, because I'm also a Christian, which doesn't make very much sense to some people. But I don't see Yahweh as a. Oh, why is it not focusing? There we go. I don't see the god Yahweh, which is a Christian god, different than any other gods. Like um. I work with Aphrodite and Anubis as my deities, and I don't see Yahweh any different from Aphrodite and Anubis. Like, I don't see them as, like, him as more than Aphrodite, or, you know, I'm a Christian witch, but I don't see Yahweh better than any other god, if that makes sense. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna show you my author, because I've recently switched rooms, which you can probably tell if you've watched other videos. Like, this is not the room I'm usually in. This is my new room, um, it's more accessible for me with my shitty legs, and yeah, let's just... Oh, that looked like a very ugly take. Let's just get into the altar tour. So, I'm veiling, because I usually veil, but I've never actually veiled in one of my videos, because, you know... I don't want to be judged, but I'm done with that, okay? I'm feeling good, feeling like myself, I'm gonna do what I want to do. But let's get into the altar tour, because this is a very long intro. So I'm just gonna give a quick overview, like this is my altar space, it's like this entire thing, it's like like this little thing that extends outwards. Um, down there is my Aphrodite altar, where we'll get into that shortly. And let's start with this thing, you can't really see it because my altar is in front of a window, but this is my herb drying rack it just has a bundle of flowers on it that i'm drying for aphrodite but let's start over there okay so i have this little coffin shelf i don't know if you can see it it's empty except for three mason jars over there and there's some books on it uh this used to be on my other altar and there was like a bunch of stuff in there but now that i have a bigger altar space it's basically empty oh jesus but I want to like fill it with bird like bottles of herbs so yeah up here go on focus back there we actually have a horseshoe because horseshoes bring <whistles> tits and dicks uh, horseshoes bring good luck this is my plan this is like the plan I've had the longest <laughs> And it's still alive, surprisingly, because I'm not good at keeping plants alive. And then down here we have a little mushroom that I made. Oh, these are not to choose, by the way, I just throw them on every day. It's like the elements that are like on the correct finger. This little mushroom I made like a year ago when I was very into cottagecore. I'm still very into cottagecore, by the way. Just like a clay little mushroom that I made and painted. And this is a plant that I actually got from my mother. It's not doing too well, I should probably give it some water. But it's holding a little, little fairy. I don't really work with the fairy or the fairy folk, but I think it's very interesting. And I just had this one since I was like 12 or something. My mother got it for me at like a convention. I think it was, I don't remember what it was, but I love it. Like when I was a child, I wanted to have a bunch of these because my mother had a bunch of these. But I only ended up having one, which is fine, because, I don't know. Then we have some feathers that I found that I was drawn to. They're just chilling over here. I might do something with them later. This is a K 
candle holder holder. It's like a pentagram. It has like fake moss growing on the side. I got this one when I was 13 for Christmas when I really started getting into witchcraft. Like my mother has been a witch before me. She doesn't really practice anymore. She's more like green witch now. She does like kitchen witchery every once in a while. But she doesn't actively practice like I do. I'm so sorry if you hear my dogs barking. Give me a second. Let me wait till they stop. Anyways, I sh need to pull, put like a tall candle in here, but I haven't done that yet. Back here, I don't know what this is. I think these are my dandelions that I collected two years ago. And this is a uh, garden sage that from my own garden, like from my own sage in my garden. This is both rainwater, these two jars. And over here, we have a Martin skeleton that my brother found and gave to me. And this is a cat skull I've had since I was like seven. My dad accidentally dug it up when we were working in the garden when I was a little, when I was a little child. And he was like, hey, Phoebes, here's a cat skeleton. Do you want it? And I was like, mm, sure, I do. And this is a Martin that my brother found like not too long ago, like a few weeks ago. This is my full moon water. This is more skeleton from the Martin. Oh no, this is a stone. This is like from the Martin. This is from the Martin and this boat is from the Martin. I'm trying to collect more of these because I really want to do like those bone throwing things. But I only have one at the moment. Even though my brother did find a rabbit skeleton. Like from a hair or something. And I'm gonna see if there's any bones in there like this that I can use. This is a little Roman statue. I've wanted a Roman statue for ages. Like, literal ages. So when I found it at the thrift store, I was like, Oh my god, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I just immediately bought it. That right there is a little rose quartz um, cross. I'm a Christian witch, as I said before. So combining the cross with the crystal was just, like, really nice. This is my Archangel Michael statue. Um, I got this when we went to visit a church last summer. Like, I really like visiting churches and like cathedrals. And I bought it there from a gift shop and I love it. And this little Maria, Mother Maria statue. I don't know why it's not focusing. Yeah, my Mar Maria, Mother Maria statue over here. Uh, I also, also got that one from the thrift store. And then we have a little, tiny little clear quartz tower that I don't remember where I got it from. This is my candle for Michael, or just like Yahweh in general, just like Christianity. I don't burn it very often because I don't know, I'm just, I don't know. That right here is a pink tea light, but it's actually a spell candle. Like I put a, a love spell like in it, like blow the candle, there's like herbs and a sigil and all that stuff. So I burn it when I need an extra little bit of self-love that blue bag over there that holds my runes actually i don't know too much about runes yet but i'm really trying to get into it so yeah they contain all my runes and this is my first ever crystal this was my first 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 ever crystal i think i got it when i was 12 or 13 it's a cluster amethyst i got it like at the beach like at the seashore there were these little shops and there was this crystal shop and i just I had been into witchcraft for a long time, okay, because my mother had been a witch before me. And I saw this crystal, like this amethyst, and I was like, oh my god, I need it. So uh, I bought it, and I think it was 25 euros. Yeah, euros, because I'm actually from Belgium. Then this, you can't see because of the lighting, but let's take it, is my wand. I made this wand myself, I found this stick outside, and I just put some like rope around it. A little pentacle thingy, and it actually has an amethyst at the top. So I use this for like casting circles and stuff. I really like it. I think I really made it really pretty. Then we have this little pentagram wooden thingy that's like black. Which I really like it. I I got that from Attitude Holland. 
This is another random rock I found at our property in the Ardennes. We have a property in Ardennes and we just go there every once in a while and like play in the river and stuff and I just like to collect rocks from there. We all do actually, like me and my two younger brothers. Then I got these towers from Shein for goodness sake. And they're not the best because they're actually like, they're actually like resin and the crystals are inside the resin. Like this is like the chakra one. And this is an amethyst one, but like I don't like them too much because of the resin. But I just keep them here because why not? Then we got this little thingy, this bundle of flowers that I found I think two years ago on a walk through the village. I found this and I was like, ooh, that looks really pretty. So I just took it and it's been on my altar ever since. And this is one of my daggers. I got this one. Um, where did I get this one? I think in somewhere in Belgium, I forgot the name, but it's like this oldest city and there's like this castle that I like went through the world wards and stuff and this was the gift shop and I got it there. It has um, a, it has a pentagram on there, if you can see it. It's not focusing yet. No, not focusing. It's just like a pentagram on there. Then we got this golden safety pin next to a new whistle scandal and you're like probably like why is there a golden safety pin next to a new whistle scandal and that's it that's because he literally just wanted it like i found it downstairs and i was just fiddling with it and, and it was just like um i want that and i actually made a tiktok of that so i'll put that in here for now you can go check out my tiktok i think it's just at phoebe gemini put it on the altar Wait. What? What? There's not room on the altar. Did I fucking stutter? And then we have another crystal tower. This is actually a crystal tower, so like, not a resin one from Shein. It's um, a black onyx. So I put this with Anubis' candle because, you know, he likes it. Then I got this little mushroom thingy statue that I got from the dollar store so it's not really special and down there is my bay leaves and this is my rose petals and we got um, pink salt stone down there this little cat wooden statue that I got in France at a market and the man actually carved them himself so I was really I really wanted one because cats has been like my favorite animal my entire life along with horses. Then we come here and this is just all herbs and ingredients and all that stuff. Like there's a lot like salt, eggshells, I think it's marigold. It's just a bunch of things. And this is a little spell jar for self-love that is here that I made a while ago. And some rocks I again found in the Ardennes in the river. And this little froggy dude that my brother gave to me because he knows how much I love frogs. Then we have the plant again. Okay. Then this is the little table that used to be my full altar, so without all the rest. So it was really tiny. And I just needed a bigger altar. This is my cauldron, basically. I use this to burn shit in. And yes, this is white sage, and I did not ever burn it, and I did not plan to buy it it just was in a mystery box and I don't kitty stop fighting I don't want to burn it because that is cultural appropriation and it's a close practice but it's just sitting there I don't burn it I didn't mean to buy it it just it came with a mystery box this is a piece of chocolate that shouldn't be here anymore this was an offering to Anubis and it was really like this dark chocolate but he's done with it but I just it's just there for now. And we have this mushroom dudes over here that I got at the trip store. Really cute little wooden mushroom dudes. My uh, witch's bell for sound cleansing. This is my Tibetan singing bowl that I got in Italy. And I really love it. I absolutely love it. And my... Mortal and Pastor. I also got this in Italy. 
I don't know which kind of stone it is, but I really liked it, so I just took it because I really needed one. And I like went to Italy a few months ago, and then I bought one, and I was like, yes, finally. And this is my altar cloth that I also got from Attitude Holland. I really like it. It's just very simple. And then two incense burners, because I don't know why, I just have two. This is a little spell candle holder that I also got from Attitude Holland. And this dagger was my first ever dagger that I ever got. And I got this in France when I was 12. Over here we have my lighter. Like... Bah. This is a pendulum. This is a labradorite that I got at a convention. I absolutely love it. I don't know if you can see. But I love it. And this is an actual amethyst tower, not one with resin. Is it focusing? Yeah, it, this is just not one with resin, it's just an actual amethyst tower. And this little turtle dude is an alabaster stone that I got from Italy. It's really cute. Another one of those pentagram candle holders. This is a little selenite stick with like stones on it. It's like actual selenite. And it just sits in my bowl of tumbled crystals. Like, I got so many. So they just sit there. And then down here. Oh, that's really dark. It's just books. And and the drawers. It's just a little bit of extra stuff. You cannot see it it's so dark. But it's just random stuff and like my tarot deck is down there. So And some extra candles, my <laughs> Yule boat that I will be putting on my altar by Yule. This is actually from like IKEA, but I really like it, so <laughs> this is a bag of herbs. <laughs> that I don't have like pots for yet, like mason jars. And there's a chicken. This is a little chicken statue that I got at thrift store. It's just chilling there. And let's move on to my Aphrodite altar. So this is Aphrodite's altar. Got like a picture of the sea, picture of like a rose picture of Aphrodite and the bird of Venus is down here. So that's that. And there's a bunch of shells around here and like here too. And her statue that I got in Italy again and I was really happy to find it because I've been working with Aphrodite for about two, two three years and I never could find a statue. So I was so happy to see that in Italy at the Tower of Pisa they had these Aphrodite statues and I just immediately got it. Like I could not resist. I needed it. Down there, it's again dark, this little offering plate and there's rose quartz on this side, rose quartz that were on this side, there's some selenite down there, and then this little table runner that has like roses on it. I really like it. And my candle for Aphrodite. And I also want to replace it. It's just like light pink and I want to keep it pink. But I just want like a glass one, like a tall glass one. But for now we have to do it with this one. And then this is just a little plate to hold the candle. Also hanging from my window is this little thingy. It has like, it's supposed to be in a car, like at your window, but I put it at, you know, my normal window. It just has crystals and tiny little crystals at the bottom. And this little card that is like with lucky items. Here we have a very old dream catcher that I've had since I was like a little kid. Um, the moon faces little card. And this little pentagram that I made out of wood like ages ago. I really like it, just, it's chilling there. Also, this is my Book of Shadows, I'm not gonna like show it now, but if you wanna like 
see a flip through of it, then I will do that and you should just let me... Oh wow, that took a while before I had a tick. Then you can just ask me and I'll do a flip through. But that's basically the altar. So that was my altar, I hope you enjoyed it. And please be nice in the comments. I know I barely ticked in this video, but I'm having really good tick days. Like, you can ask my entire family. I've been barely taking for the last week or so. But I do, you know... People with threads do not take every fucking second of every single day. But whatever, whatever, whatever. doesn't matter. You're probably not even here for my threads, so... Um, but yeah, that was my altar. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more of me, either about my chronic illnesses or my witchy life, then you can follow me. Or subscribe to me on YouTube. And you can follow me on Instagram. At Phoebs the Goblin, like Phoebs dot the dot Goblin for my witchy account. I'll put like the name on the screen. And on TikTok, it's just at Phoebe Gemini. So yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one, maybe. Bye.